My hair journey is proof that natural hair doesn't have to be expensive. Thanks to TikTok, rosemary became a trending topic for hair growth. Mayel took advantage of that and created their popular rosemary and mint hair growth oil. However, rosemary and mint have always been present in our favorite oils. For example, the African fave, virgin hair fertilizer, and even South Africa's recent faves, which is your Masodi growth oil and native child's hair growth oil. In this video, we'll be making a powerful yet affordable rosemary and mint oil. Let's get into it. everyone so the first ingredient that we are going to be needing for our oil is our olive oil olive oil it might seem expensive but it's actually like buying a bulk product because one 500 milliliter or even a liter of olive oil can last you six months to a year which is a really long time especially if you have an oil mix for it right and it comes with so many benefits it can soften the hair it's really nourishing it eliminates dandruff it is a natural conditioner it repairs damaged hair so many so many so many benefits and then we have castor oil i never make any oil mix without castor oil it is honestly the best oil ever in my opinion especially for 4c or like kinky hair like mine and it's actually really amazing for hair growth it's moisturizing it has antimicrobial properties it increases the hair shaft flexibility increases shine of the hair it prevents inflammation and it provides the essential protein and the nutrients to the hair follicles and then the next oil is peppermint oil obviously stimulates that growth antimicrobial properties that help fight against fungi and inflammation it improves the overall scalp health and it also helps in reducing hair loss and hair thinning the next and the last ingredient that we're going to use is our rosemary i love that it has different benefits depending on you know how you use it just the smell of rosemary alone improves the brain function and it reduces short-term stress and anxiety and it helps mental strain and fatigue so it's actually great for your mental health as well and when you apply it, it's great um, for the blood circulation on any part of your body. Um, it improves that blood flow and same thing with your scalp. It improves that blood flow. It stimulates hair growth. It, you know, helps with um, scalp itchiness and just the thickness of your hair as well. I usually double boil my oils um, you can infuse it if you want, but I like to double boil it because I don't have time. Then I just incorporate it in my hair care routine, whether I'm installing a style or I'm just doing, you know, the usual upkeep of my hair. I always have my hair growth oil. These are some key ingredients where you don't have to break the bank. And if you feel like some of these ingredients are expensive, trust me, they go a long, long, long way. I buy this small peppermint bottle probably just like once a year. You know, it lasts me the whole year because it's so concentrated. Yeah, let me know how it goes and if you're interested in making this. But this is really, really just a budget-friendly type of oil. And it's, it's, it's really amazing for the hair. I know your hair is going to love it. So make sure that you like, you comment, and you subscribe. And other than that, love, light, and blessings to you. Bye.